Welcome to another tutorial on how to use the Global Terrorism Database. Today we're going to be going deeper on the advanced search function through the online portal. Specifically, we're going to be looking at how to stack different search terms to get nice and specific with the information you're trying to find, and also how to change the definition of terrorism so you can really make it do exactly what you want. The advanced search tool is a really useful feature of the online portal. It enables you to make a very specific search to find exactly what you're looking for in terrorism from around the globe. This enables you to limit the years, the nations involved, the perpetrators, and a whole bunch of other criteria that we'll go through in the exercise just ahead. So for our first exercise today, let's look and see whether we can analyze what terrorist attacks have been committed by a specific terrorist organization in a specific country. So to begin with, we're going to go to the advanced search, um, like we did in the previous episode, and wait for that to open. So the first thing we want to do is start off with where. I like to start out with the broadest things and then move down to the specific. So let's now look at the country of Turkey. So just like we did in the last lesson, we're going to scroll down until we find the country we're looking for, in this case, Turkey. I'm going to select Turkey, and as you can see, it comes up here on the right-hand side. If you accidentally click the wrong country, uh, you can always hit this Remove button here as well to take it out. Now let's look and see um, a specific terrorist group in that country. One of the most prominent terrorist organizations in that country is the PKK or the Kurdistan Workers Party. As you can see under the Perpetrator Group tab here on the left, there's a number of different groups that have been collected and analyzed by the GTD. In this case, we're going to be looking for the Kurdistan Workers Party, so we're going to scroll down until we get to K. And then, given that it starts with the next letter is U, it's going to be right near the bottom. So here, we're going to find the Kurdistan Workers' Party, the PKK. We're going to click on that to select it. And once again, we see it coming over here on the right. So what we can see here is both the country and the perpetrator group have been selected. And so this will tell us how many attacks that the PKK uh, committed in the country of Turkey um, in the date range um, within the GTD, which is 1970 to 2017. So let's hit search and see what comes up. So in this case, we can see that the PKK committed 2,128 incidents of terrorism. And as we can see here from the temporal chart below, that there were two um, to three um, largest spikes in terrorist activity during that time. Again, you can scroll down to the bottom to get the more detailed information on what um, the, each attack comprised of. But um, for now, let's focus on the raw number of attacks. Let's pretend that we need to get a little bit more specific than this again. So we're not just interested in what the attacks of the PKK committed in Turkey, but we're interested in only looking at a specific type of attack that they committed. So to do this and to become get even more specific, we're going to go back to the advanced search, and we're going to now look at the attack type. So we've already got the country and the perpetrator group selected, and now we're now going to look at the attack type. So let's pretend we're only interested in how many bombings, uh, how many bombings that this group committed, and we're only interested in non-suicide attacks. Um, in this case, under attack tab, we can select both of these options and now hit search. As you can see here, um, this has brought down our total number of incidents down to 709 from 2,128. And we can double check that our search criteria were correct just down here in this box here. So we can see here that we want all incidents, um, including only non-suicide attacks that were committed by the PKK that um, were a bombing or explosion that occurred in the country of Turkey. We can go one step further than this, and let's pretend we're only interested in looking at a period um, after 2010. So once again, if we want to refine the search even further, we can go back to the advanced search. We can see again that um, these boxes are, are coming up as greens, indicating that there's some limitations that have been placed there. And now we're going to be looking at attacks that occurred from 2010 up into the end of the time period of the GTD, which currently encompasses up to 2017. So we'll now hit search again. 
and we can see immediately that the number of incidents has been reduced down to 489. And again, I recommend just double checking everything to make sure that everything's in place. So we're now looking between 2010 and 2017. We're looking at non-suicide attacks that are a bombing or explosion committed by the Kurdistan Workers' Party that occurred in Turkey. So this is a way that you can build a very specific search to answer a very specific question about how much terrorism is occurring by a certain group in a certain time using a certain method. Not all terrorism scholars agree on a singular definition of terrorism, and this is actually something that we can partially account for using the GTD data as well, using the advanced search function. So to do this, we'll go back to the advanced search, and as we can see here, we've still got all of our attributes from the first exercise still selected. Let's clear all the tabs and start from scratch. Even though we've cleared all of the tabs, we can still see here that there's a green dot next to the Terrorism Criteria tab indicating that there has been some refinement of the search coming from this tab. So let's go to this Terrorism Criteria tab and see what it contains. As you can see here, there are a number of criteria within this tab. And starting from the bottom, we can see that the first criteria delineates whether this, the attack was successful or not. So we can either include unsuccessful attacks or exclude unsuccessful attacks. For the sake of this exercise, let's exclude unsuccessful attacks and only look at those that were um, successful. We can see, moving our way up, that the second box here looks at whether there is any uncertainty whether an incident or not meets all the criteria for inclusion in the DT GTD as a terrorist incident. Let's pretend that we want to be absolutely certain that for every case that this is a terrorist attack. So we want to exclude ambiguous cases in that realm. There are also another series of um, terrorism criteria that need to be met in order to be incorporated within the GTD. However, it's not necessary for all of them to be met. For this exercise, let's now um, look and see whether all of these criteria are met to make sure that this is unambiguously um, a, an act of terrorism. So within that, let's now go back to Turkey and look at um, what this does to the number of attacks committed by the PKK. So again, we've selected Turkey again. We're going to slow, scroll down to the PKK. So we're looking for K in this case. And we're going to select the PKK as well. We'll then hit search. And before we look at anything, we're going to make sure that all of our search criteria have been met. So again, we're making sure that we've met all three of the original GTD criteria. We're only looking at where, uh, incidents where there's no doubt that the act was an act of terrorism, and we're only looking at successful attacks. If you recall back to our previous search, there were 2,128 acts of terrorism committed by the PKK in Turkey over the period between 1970 and 2017. Now, after refining the search to a more um, directed definition of terrorism, we can see that the number of terrorist attacks has been decreased down to 1,320. So as you can see from this exercise, by manipulating the definition of terrorism that's being used by the GTD, you can return a very different number of terrorist events and be a lot more specific with the terrorist attacks that you're trying to isolate using these data.